Hi everyone, I want to give you an updated tour on my micro stealth camper van. I've made quite a few changes since the uh, last video I put out, so come on and let's check it out. This is a 2013 Ford Transit Connect. As you see, I designed it to mainly just look like a uh, regular work van. If you saw that parked on your street, you would just think nothing about it. Just a ladder on the roof. This looks like your typical work van. The reason I went with a Ford Transit Connect is because uh, I found that out of all the the vans that aren't way out of my price range, that's the uh, cheapest on the gas mileage. Also, I wanted it to be very micro, very small, as small as I could get it without um, just being too ridiculously small. And uh, the Ford Transit Connect, uh, 2013s and older all fit the bill for me first thing I want to show you on the outside uh, installed these um, window vents that run along the uh, window and those are perfect so you can um, just crack your window uh, just a, a couple inches or whatever and uh, let air through on both sides and it just looks like the windows closed nothing strange about it An interesting thing is I put these um made these window screens to go over both my uh, front windows so I can actually have the windows all the way down and um, get good air ventilation and no bugs quick tour of uh, what I have behind the driver's seat here over my uh, dash I have an old cell phone that I just hooked up and used as a uh, um, dash cam and so whenever I'm driving I have it constantly recording and that gives me free uh, <laughs> a free dash cam um, I did install an aftermarket uh, backup camera uh, with monitor here and the reason I did that it had a built-in one in the mirror that went bad it was going bad apparently and I had it into the shop and it is gonna be two thousand dollars to get it repaired and um, as opposed to uh, a generic one you can buy off the shelf at Walmart for like a hundred bucks I decided to opt for that um, option instead of course I run with a um, radar detector up here um, also have a uh, built-in got a CB here mounted and also have this CB hooked up with a uh, PA speaker mounted on the outside of my van so that uh, up on the roof so that I can make clear communication with uh, anybody approaching my vehicle if I want. Um, for the radio, instead of um, going through a great deal of um, gymnastics to rip the radio out, put in a new radio, what I did is um, I had this old tablet and I just uh, mounted it up here with magnets. See, that's the, the radio system. Stuck these uh, magnets on here to hold it on. My uh, tablet fits perfectly over that. I have um, my entire collection of music, uh, over 300 songs loaded on here so that um, I can play my music. also have my GPS system hooked up. And what I use for wireless is I just use my hotspot on my phone. I get in the vehicle and turn my hotspot on. This automatically connects and um, runs my GPS. And coming around on the passenger side, we're going to go into the camper. The main part of the camper. You see when you first enter in, right here along this wall here, I have my fire extinguisher smoke detector and this is a um, carbon monoxide and uh, explosive gas detector got my um, AC 
uh, plug that's hooked straight to a uh, 750 watt inverter and then I also have 12 volts right here and this I'll show you what that's for in just a second um, come on in directly behind the uh, driver's seat I keep my uh, Mr. Uh, heater buddy <laughs> and uh, it's awesome for heating such a small space um, also behind my uh, driver's seat, I have this uh, little card table stuck up there and um, it can be pulled off and set up anywhere where I need a table. And behind that, when all I have to do is move the uh, driver's seat forward, move my heater out of the way, and now I have access to my closet just a small closet a um, couple hooks here to hang some coats one suit and also in here I keep a safe and that comes in real handy to store important valuables that I don't want to carry around on me while I'm out and about and so you'll notice that um, I designed this so that um, this seat could be laid all the way back in its furthest position where I could relax in the front seat if I want to and uh, nothing will inhibit that at all a lot of people they build right up to the back seat and uh, I mean right up to the back of the front seat and, <laughs> and that seat's not going to move a bit and I like to, a lot of times, just sit in my front seat and relax. So, uh, this is a better view of the front from uh, the back here. And um, right here, what you're looking at is my hidden kitchen. And... Along here, I have all of these uh, light switches or um, switches that operate different things. This uh, one switch turns on these um, LED lights I have put in the ceiling. Oh, by the way, um, I mentioned my screen uh, screens over my windows. These are held up with Velcro. And whenever I'm not using the screens, they just uh, stick to the ceiling. <laughs> just uh, store up there perfectly out of the way. And uh, don't ever fall down. Um, back to what I was showing you here. This uh, button, of course, turns on the power inverter. <clears throat> this one here, I have a... Um, security camera mounted on the back of the, the vehicle and so when I flip this on my security camera comes on and I can see what's going on behind me that gives me a good view behind me this is what I call the cabinet lights when I flip that on You'll look down below, down on my uh, foot guard here is illuminated all along the flooring. And it gives me uh, perfect illumination in here at night. And at night, if you notice, instead of having um, knobs on my cabinets, I cut these little finger holes. And if you notice, the light in them emanating through that and um, at night when it's dark if I have the cabinet lights on I can see right where the finger holes are and grab and everything inside these cabinets is perfectly illuminated got a, you know a bunch of my food in here um, up in this cabinet this is water storage it's the, this is a five gallon tank and I've actually got a bilge pump 
It's a boat pump. It's designed to uh, pump water out of your boat <laughs> if you get waterlogged. And uh, that works awesome. It's very quiet. I'll turn it on and let you hear how it sounds. You can't even hardly hear it. Um, and right beside this, I put these little uh, bins here. And these hold my clothes. And I just, uh, like, this one's got shirts. Just roll them up and stick them in here. And this one's got pants and one shirt. And then my other one has uh, t-shirts and underwear and socks. So, nice little handy way to store your um, clothes. Okay, now we're going to take a uh, closer look at the kitchen and my galley lights. This switch right here turns on these uh, overhead lights up under there and up and under this uh, cover here is where my sink is and of course, I had to turn the uh, faucet sideways. It just wasn't going to fit any other way. I had to put my faucet in there sideways. And then a little stove right here, you know, for cooking on. And um, the way I designed this is this whole cover lifts off. And see if I can do this one-handed here. <laughs> Trying to hold the camera in one hand and... Maneuver this in the other, it's not an easy feat. So you see these little grooves, these little boards I screwed down on both sides here. And what this cover does, fits up under there. And now what I have effectively done is create me some extra counter space here. So while I'm cooking, I got places to set things and prepare food or what have you here and then um, you know cook on the stove and here's how you turn on the water here right there and for the sink of course a lot of van builders do this it's just a stainless steel bowl with a hole cut in it and what I did is I put a uh, they stop in here, push it to stop it. Let push it again to unstop it. Uh, the other thing I did, so of course, it's so short in here. You don't want to be on your knees while you're cooking. And um, what I did is over here along this wall. You see this uh, strange looking thing here, and I got these two cabinets. They just pull out, and they become the brace to this bench. And I have a uh, full length bench, and what holds it closed is I have these old magnets. They came off some old uh, CB antennas that I had, and I just um, stuck them in. And then underneath the fabric here are two metal plates. And so whenever you close it, it stays closed. And I mean, it, it's up there tight. It ain't going to fall. I've gone over railroad tracks and everything. It doesn't fall. But it's perfect to sit on while you're working at the sink. And uh, or just a little place you need to sit and do something real fast. You don't want to pull out a chair or anything. Below my sink, I have um, various odds and ends in here, but the main thing is keep my pans. I got another one of those little tubs that I keep my pans in. And I also have a five gallon um, propane tank hooked up to my stove. And also it tees off, hooks up to my Mr. Buddy heater, Mr. Heater Buddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, um, I have a little gauge on here tells me um, how full the tank is 
so I don't ever wonder if I'm getting low or not. And moving on from here, above, let's see, off to the left on this whole cabinet system. Let me try to get a full view of the whole cabinet system from here. Um, right here, I have just this little small cubby that's just a little place to keep towels or whatever. And right below that, it's just a 12 volt uh, thermal cooler. It's just uh, one of those coolers designed to um, cool. Uh, it cools down 40 degrees below what the outside temperature is. So <laughs> uh, it just keeps popping stuff cool. But um, most of the time, what I found is rather than run it, I. I uh, take these uh, half gallon jugs, fill them with water, clean them out, fill them with water, freeze them in the house and um, switch them out. And that leaves me um, a very cold cooler. And also, you know, when they melt, I've got extra water to drink. <laughs> Under this cabinet here is where my uh, whole, uh, battery system is got a you know a 12 volt deep cycle batteries hooked up to a uh, a hundred watt uh, solar panel up on the roof also have a uh, trickle charger in case I uh, get somewhere where there's solar power and then there's no sunlight I can uh, plug in and charge my battery up that way um, And moving over to this side of the uh, van build, get try to pan out here and get you a good view of what we got going on here. Um, this is the um, passenger side, and what I've got up top here is this one long cabinet opens up. And I got these little cubbies in here. I keep um, different odds and ends in. The middle one's my my junk thing. Um, bathroom stuff is in this far cubby. And then I keep um, extra um, winter things like a, a winter hats and gloves and stuff. In this one and now of course we're going to the bed so what I do for the bed is I've got a Murphy bed that's built into this cabinet here and it's just a single bed for one person here's how it works these bottom cabinets open up and actually form the base of the bed Open that up, open that up, pull that down, oh forgot I gotta put my front seat up a little bit for this to work. And there we have it, ready for bed. So you can see the way that I have this set up. I've got a uh, full six foot length wise bed, fits fully out. And um, I'm 5'9", got plenty of room to lay, stretch out, and still have access to my uh, cooler, <laughs> which I like. They still want to get me something to drink in the middle of the night. Plenty of room for me to lay here in bed. 
So beside my bed here, I have um, this little area here just uh, where you can lay things at night when you're sleeping. You know, your wallet, your keys or whatever um, you want to lay beside here. Got a little um, place to uh, set a drink right there. Got an extra blanket back here in case it gets really cold. And I'll also keep my um, little uh, hoverboard right there locked up uh, so that um, if I want to get out and go tooling around the area wherever I'm at and explore a little bit, don't want to do all that walking, I got that. Now there's uh, one more thing about this bed that I haven't shown you yet that uh, is a pretty cool feature. Suppose that you have three people riding, me and two passengers, and you need a, a third seat. Well, the back of it is designed in such a way slides up has this little pin goes in locks it into place and now you've got a third seat for a third passenger and it even comes with a seat belt I haven't got it out it's inside that cabinet it's where you can strap yourself in and be seat belted down so that's pretty much how the bed works. Um, this was actually a, a um, quite a feat to build. And the way this is designed is it's actually, we got one, two, three, four, five segments to the bed. And um, they're hooked together with hinges. And, um, I actually <laughs> had to build a model of this out of cardboard. Let's see, that one, the only one that's actually fastened down is that one. And, and what they're fastened down to is the, that main board that you saw underneath. I'll show you that in a second. And then this one is hinged here to go the opposite way of that one and then this one is hinged to go the opposite way of that one and then this one here is hinged to go the opposite way and this bottom board here only all it does is acts as a support for the, the foot of the bed so that um yeah i can put all my weight on here it ain't gonna go nowhere and when it's in chair mode, this just slides up like that. We got a back seat. Back in bed mode slides out like that um my bedding what i actually have is a uh, four inch piece of foam with um some of that memory foam over the top of it and i just uh hold the sheeting and the blankets on with um these little things here I bought a bunch of those and that holds it all on and the blanket is actually safety pinned on so um so yeah i don't have to make out my bed i don't have to uh, throw sheets and blankets on it every time i pull it out it's just already made all i got to do is pull the the mattress out and the blankets and sheets already on it just stretch it out and go to bed and here it is right before i get ready to fold it up as you can see here it's uh I mean, 
it's just all mounted to this uh, one board by that one segment that's up there and that's all mounted down and then I just fold it up back into the wall Beds made. So another thing I wanted to show you is um, when I'm just lounging in the back here and just want to sit and relax and watch some videos or movies or something. Um, above the uh, driver's area, I have this folding chair. Just comes out. Gives me a place to sit there and relax, and I'll show you how I watch movies. All right, so I'm sitting back here in my chair, and I'm relaxing, and let's say I want to watch movies. Um, one thing I didn't show you, there's a couple ways to create privacy while you're in here, and the, the simple way is I've got these uh, curtains right here that pull across and as you can see they go all the way to the floor and then what I did is this just a simple window shape that pulls down and becomes a screen when I turn my lights out I can sit back here and watch movies From the So I had to uh, mute it, couldn't put too much uh, on because, of course, uh, YouTube will censor it, <laughs> um, copyright it or whatever. But as you can see, I can sit back here and um, what I use as a projector is up here in the ceiling. My cell phone has a built-in projector to it and it just... Uh, you can see I got uh, power connecting it to the um, battery so it won't go dead. I can sit here and watch full movies if I want. Watch, um, <clears throat> I can watch, you know, anything on YouTube, anything on Netflix. And, yeah, pretty cool setup. So yeah, I can just sit here and uh, chill in my uh, uh, folding chair and, and relax, watch movies. Uh, or, you know, if I had the bed made out, I can watch movies from bed. <laughs> you know, watch YouTube, watch whatever, you know, I want. And uh, just, it's a pretty cool setup. So yeah, whenever I'm uh, not watching movies, this, uh, you know, just your simple window shade. Just uh, folds back up into place. And these curtains, they just uh, slide back. And I uh, strap it back with a uh, Velcro, Velcro strap that just hooks right here. Hooks through there, pull it tight. Comes around. That way, I, if I got my window down, it's not... Uh, plopping in the breeze now I mentioned that I had another way to uh, create privacy and what I have if you notice have this curtain rod running all along the uh, front 
of the uh, cab area and it's just uh, held back by another velcro thing gets released comes around unhook this one it's released and it comes around and when I bought these curtains I actually walked through the uh, curtain aisle with a piece of velcro because I wanted the material to be able to stick to velcro and so what I do is I got up on top of my dash here some of the, the rough side of velcro and it just holds my curtains right up here and creates a um, completely blacked out area in here what that allows me to do is to have the engine running if I want and pump air conditioning into uh, this whole area back here and cool it off and something else that I did with velcro is I stuck a strip of it up along up here and the reason I did that is because so the passenger front seat what it does is slides forward and then whole chair swivels around just like that so that allows me to uh, sit right here and relax and just chill right here if I want and I can have total privacy or I can pull these back around open it back up so that I got a good view of what's going on outside but yeah, I've got a uh, whole video on how I made this uh, swivel chair. They told me uh, you can't make a swivel chair. They don't make a swivel chair for a uh, Ford Transit Connect. Uh, it doesn't work because of the console. So, you know, I put my thinking power together. And, and by God's help and grace, man, I'm, I made me a swivel and chairs. And so you can go see that on the, the link. Uh, that I'll provide in the uh, um, in the description. Um, what else I built was have me a little uh, folding table. it where I want it and clamp this down so it's a completely swiveling table can move around and gives me a place to uh, set and work on my laptop <laughs> and moving around to the back of the van you can see I've got a uh, bike rack with a bike mounted on the back here also have a uh, spare can of gas so get off in the uh, uh, trail somewhere get low on gas you don't have any worries you got spare gas get you back in where you need to go and which brings us to one of my favorite features on this fan is this thing right here and it's what I call the back porch <laughs> oh if you're wondering why there's uh, two holes in the middle of it it's because when it's in the closed position and if you need to get out there's an emergency 
you have to be able to get to these two areas right here in order to unlock the door and pop it open and so I had to cut those two holes in there to make uh, access to get out in the event of an emergency. So what I like about this spot is I can sit out here and relax in the warmth of the sun and uh, sit here and work on my computer if I want or if I want to eat a meal here. You know, I don't have to be on the computer. I can eat. Or this table, I don't even need it. I can just sit here and enjoy the, the beautiful scenery. So the way this uh, back porch is made, it's uh, it's just uh, hooked down by two hinges at the base, and then I've got these um, just uh, chains, eye eye bolt right here, and it's just a chain. You definitely want to use chain. When I first was trying this out, I tried rope. Uh, rope doesn't work. <laughs> Because uh, rope has stretch to it, and you it'll let you down. Trust me, I found out. So definitely use chain if you're going to do this idea. Um, somebody might be saying, well, you know, what if you're back here? Oh, by the way, these are my porch lights. <laughs> At nighttime, turn those on and off. And, and uh, of course, you know what those are. Those are those uh, battery-powered little lights and uh, I stuck velcro on the back I could put, peel them off and stick them anywhere so suppose you're you're out here and you're enjoying the day and and a rainstorm starts coming well hidden over in the corner here you see I have one of those golfers umbrellas very large umbrella and I'll show you how that works so you're sitting here and all of a sudden it starts pouring down rain and uh, you need you, you don't want to go inside yet. So what do you do? And poof, there you go. You got a, a nice little uh, rain cover right there. Or, you know, sun cover if it's too hot out and you just want a nice uh, sun on him. Uh, works perfectly. The only thing, uh, you just have to watch out for the pull because uh, that kind of it's in the way <laughs> yeah it's pretty nice another feature to the back porch that I love is I built in these screen uh, doors and they're just hooked on this wire they just slide over um, into place and, uh, And of course they come together with magnets, go all the way down, all the way up, and that way you can just um, go in and out as it's your leisure and they'll close right up. And now you can have your uh, front screen windows open and these open you could be laying in bed with a total breeze just blowing straight through the van and relax and um, yeah love it another feature to the van is that the uh, ladder I carry around on the roof isn't just to uh, make it look like a work van it actually serves a purpose and come along I'll show you what that purpose is So you can see we got to get up on the roof here, have my solar panel mounted right there, and um, it's set down low from the ground, you can't even tell that's what that is. But also what I have here is this thing. Oh, 
folds open and becomes my rooftop porch. So I can just sit here and uh, I can just chill and uh, enjoy the scenery. Have me a cold one. This is the lie.